Hi there, this is Train Signal's Heather Ackman. And this is Bill Kalterman here. And this is a video response to a comment we received on one of our YouTube tutorials titled Windows 8 Start Screen Shutdown Button. ID Noble 56 writes, Here two Microsoft experts show you how to add a shutdown slash restart button to the start screen in Windows 8. These so-called experts should be fired immediately from their job. This so-called tutorial is not only useless, it is also very dangerous. The parameter slash T0 actually implies cut power to the system. It's like pushing the power button or unplugging from the wall. It means shutdown delay equals zero seconds. You will lose all unsaved work and potentially crash your OS. If you still want to use it, I recommend using a delay of at least 15 to 30 seconds, i.e. shutdown slash S slash T15 for shutdown or shutdown slash R slash T15 for restart. This gives the computer time to go through the proper shutdown process without damaging your computer. I also suggest not taking advices such as these over the internet without knowing the full implication. Now first off, we'd like to thank you ID Noble 56 for watching our video and taking the time to comment. Here at Train Signal, we are all very passionate about creating the best possible tutorials. All of our full-length courses are technically reviewed by subject matter experts in the industry, but sometimes mistakes do sneak by and we certainly welcome comments, corrections, and suggestions from our viewers so we can correct the mistake and turn it into a teachable moment for all. So thank you for your comment. However, ID Noble 56, I am sorry to report that you have been misinformed. The shutdown parameter slash T0 does not cut power to the system. The T parameter is merely a time delay before the proper and safe shutdown sequence is initiated. So setting the time delay to zero does not mean you will lose unsaved work. In fact, let us show them. You bet. So here we are back on our Windows 8 machine, and let's jump to the desktop real quick. Now you can see that I have an open application. I've got Notepad, unsaved document, and we're actually going to bring up the command line right now. So start button, CMD, enter. That will bring up the command prompt. And now let's type shutdown, forward slash S, forward slash T, zero. And let's press enter, shall we? Absolutely. And there it is shutting down. It's not an instantaneous cut to power, as has been suggested. And oh, look at that, Bill. See, it's it's asking me, do you want to save my work or shut down anyway? Well, now we have the choice. We can either shut down anyway, or we can c cancel, save changes to our document, or whatever from here. Exactly. Now, if we take the suggestion that was mentioned about shutting down with the, the 15 second delay, let's try that. Shut down. And notice that our app is still open. We didn't close Notepad. It's still there. It's still running. And let's type that 15. Okay, now let's press enter. Now we have a warning, you are about to be signed off. Windows will shut down in less than a minute. And if we wait out that full 15 seconds, let's see what happens. I know, I know. Oh, shutting down. It's still shutting down. Notice that it hasn't asked us if we wanted to save our work. Not yet anyway. Well, let's, let's give it some little more time. Let's, let's, let's wait. Now, the shutdown process is going a little bit slower here than normal because we're on a virtual machine. Oh, there it goes. Oh, and there is our virtual machine right there. As you can see, it has been completely powered off. We have not been given an opportunity to cancel or save our work other than that initial warning screen. So uh, let, let's find out why, shall we? Let's power up this virtual machine. And here we are back on. Let's uh, log in, shall we? All right. So now that we're all logged back in, let's uh, go back to that command line and see what's happening. Yeah, show us, Heather. So typing CMD, enter. That opens up our command prompt once again. And let's type shut down forward slash question mark. 
and scrolling up to view all of our parameters, let's look for the T parameter. Oh, there it is. Set the timeout period for shutdown to XXX seconds. The valid range is zero to the really big number, which is 10 years. Boy, that'd be a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. With a default of 30. Now, read this. If the timeout period is greater than zero, the F parameter is implied. Interesting, where, where, Let's see what the F parameter does. Well, it's right here, Bill. Force running applications to close without forewarning users. Huh. The F parameter is implied when a value greater than zero is specified for the T parameter. So if we follow that advice to add that 15 seconds, then again, as you saw, the message changes and it's not as, you know, it, there's just that time lock down and then it shuts everything down. Yeah, personally, I like it better the way we showed you by putting in the zero, because then if you do have an application open or something else, it's going to stop you and say, hey, uh, do you want to deal with this or just go ahead and shut down anyway? Now, as for your suggestion to not take advice over the internet without an understanding of the full implication, well, we couldn't agree more with you, really. And as for the comment that this tutorial is useless, well, you might be right about that as well. From touch-enabled devices, navigating to the shutdown button located in the Charm settings area is not hard. Plus, the need to shut down devices such as tablets, well, it's true it's just not as necessary as it once was. That said, there are people out there who think that the current location of the shutdown button is hard to find and takes too many taps or swipes or clicks to get to. For those users, we wanted to demonstrate a quick workaround that, really, if we're being honest, is nothing new. It's been around for a while. As for the rest of you viewers, if you would like more information regarding the shutdown command, please see the TechNet article linked to in this video. Thanks for watching. And we hope to see you next time.